Hi there, how are you? You feeling romantic? Because I'm going to be making a plaster tea light cushion holder. And it looks like this. Ta da! Stick around to the end to see whether it is romantic, whether it worked, and what Lisa's reaction is to it. Let's get on with it. For a romantic tea light candle holder, we need a bag, some tea lights. Plaster, water, a bowl, something to mix it with. After that we'll need decorating material such as paints, colouring pencils, who knows what we're going to do. So to start with, we need quite a bit of water. There's many ways and techniques of mixing plaster. Personally, I just like to put it all in. I made way too much. So I'm aiming for a loose porridge consistency. Uh, if you make it thinner, it means that you've just got to hang around longer, holding your tea lights in tea candles in. Nice, mix that up. And hopefully we'll just be able to pour this in. There we go. So we've got the bag, oh it's a bit overfull but never mind, it'll do. This is a big bag so I've got two tea lights. So what we need to do is to seal it but first we need to get as much air out as possible. That will do. A little messy. We've got some air trapped in there. But if we pat it, it'll bring all the bubbles up to the top. We want to avoid the, fill the corners up, get the bubbles away from the corners. And I turn it over and it should be bubble free. And it's simply a case. I have been doing it that way in others. It uh, kind of looks a little odd, so I'm going square on this time and you gently press them in. Got a bubble showing up. Big bubble. That's a little annoying. Well. I've never had that before. Can I get shut of that bubble? Gotta be quick now, it's about to start setting on me. How annoying. And it's still there. So let's press these in. And we're looking for these nice crinkles. I prefer it if the corners went down. Now if you'd made this thin, you'd be here a long time, but already, could take it away and leave it, but it's still got a bit of give in it. Just hold it a bit longer. 
and that's it. Nearly set on me. So I'll now leave this. Well, for a good half hour, it'll go quite hot to the touch, quite warm, and I'll wait for it to go cool again. Then I'll take the bag off. Right, it's all gone cool now. We've got the nice dimples in there. Let's take the bag off. pleased with that. Now I'll just leave it a day to dry out then, I'll, then I, on with the painting. How oh, very exciting. Yes, I was so excited I left it three months before I actually got on with it. You know, life and everything. Okay, I've let this dry out now. <laughs> three months, uh, which is a bit of thoroughly dry, thoroughly, thoroughly dry. Okay, I'm going to key it with paint now. What I've got is some ordinary white household wall paint. I've watered it down. White wall paint watered down. About 50-50. Paint all over. I'll be giving this at least two coats just to seal it a bit. I don't have to be too neat. Just painting it all over. I'll do both sides. Oops. Broke a bit off there, wasn't happy with that. But if you do get bubbles in it, I didn't notice that one. <coughs> It'll be no harm just to mix up a little extra plaster and fill the holes. Oh no! Damn! Oh. In fact, I've smashed all the corners off. That was a mistake. Gutted about <laughs> snapping all those corners off. Oh, what a muppet. That will dry very quickly. I'll be able to put another coat on, probably within 10 minutes. So anyway, I have repaired this corner, super glued it back on and run a little bit of uh, plaster over it. You put new plaster so you can't see the join. This time I'm not going to pick the thing up. <laughs> not going to anything more to smash off. No, in my look I'd probably smash it in half. There we go. It's ready now for painting. Let it dry out. Okay, let's get the excuses out of the way. I have never used acrylic paints before, and in my head, I imagined a slight off white pinkish colour, you know, just for the background. Let's see how things worked out. Maybe I should have practiced first with a bit of paper, but let's go for it. Bit of seen that you put a bit of water on to make it flow and I'm wanting a yellowy pinky kind of background colour to this so yeah Just. oh that's way way too too uh, red <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I should definitely practice this instead of going for it. <laughs> what am I like? Actually, I'm quite happy with that. It's a lot redder than I wanted it, but I think it will do. That will do. Yes, I like that. Not at all what I had in my mind, but I like it. Yeah. Turns out I didn't like it. So the next day I decided to give it a bit of a whitewash with the original paint that I used to key the plaster. Let's see how it turned out. Halfway through, I thought I'd made a real mess of it. Uh, so I tried to brush as much of the white off as possible. And to tell you the truth, it looked all right. I left it to dry. It dried badly. It was full of brush marks and it was a chalky texture. Not at all what I wanted. Okay, this was now going to be a practice one. I've not used the acrylic paints, so I thought I'd go ahead with it and paint it in acrylic paint. I decided to paint my I love you message and use sticky tape as guidelines and I was very pleased with the result. Best of all, I didn't pull any of the paint off when I removed the sticky tape. Okay, now for a practice seal. I just used PVA glue. And amazingly, it looked great again. Result. Let's see what Lisa thought of it when I showed it to her. The only thing that's missing from this table is some candles. Oh, right, I see. Oh! And like I said, it's oh. all about you. Oh, I love it! <laughs> yes. Thank you. I think she liked it. If you've liked this video, subscribe. And check out some of my other romantic crafting videos. This is Phil the Romantic Crafter saying to Rafa now. <laughs>